you're doing all this talking that we really don't care about. Ain't nobody watching that because I don't got time. Get to the motherfucking point. Upload a whole 30 minute video when it could have really just been 15. What's up YouTube? It's Tatiana back again with another YouTube video. If you're new here, subscribe. If you're not new here, welcome back. As y'all can tell by the title, we're going to be talking about how to start a YouTube channel in 2024. I know your girl only got 700 subscribers, but still, obviously I'm doing something right. I started off in January of last year with only 60 subscribers, okay? So within a year, I gained 700. So that might not be a lot for most of y'all, but that's a lot for me because we all know growing on YouTube is very, very hard. Anyways, we're just gonna get right into it. And I'm just gonna give y'all the key points on how to start our YouTube channel in 2024. First things first, you obviously need to have something to record your videos with. You can't have a YouTube channel with no device, with no phone, no camera, no nothing. One thing I can say, you do not need an expensive camera to start a channel. You can literally start off with your phone. When I first started my YouTube journey, I had an iPhone XR. Then I went to my next phone, which was like an iPhone 12. And then I upgraded to a camera, but it was gifted to me. It ain't come out of my pockets, okay? With iPhones, they're so expensive nowadays. All you gotta do is literally record with your back camera make sure you change the settings to like HD or 4k and make sure it's 60 frames per second look up some YouTube videos or if y'all want me to do it in detailed camera settings I can do that just comment down below after you have your device your camera or your phone you want to have lighting you want to have some type of good lighting even if that's natural lighting coming from the window you don't want to record videos in the dark or just low lighting cuz Nobody wants to watch that. Let's keep it a buck. Are you going to sit down and watch a video that's recorded in low lighting? Bad lighting, like you can't even see their face. Good lighting, like y'all see me? Look, look, that's what I'm talking about. But you don't need a huge, gigantic ring light. In order for you to grow and improve and just gain your subscribers, you got to spend money. You got to invest in yourself. It's going to be a time where you're going to have to. I did not have a ring light when I first started. Actually, yes, I did. But I didn't buy it myself. Once again, it was gifted to me. It wasn't as big as this one, like those cheap ones from Five Below. Next thing you need need is a tripod you need a stand if you don't have the funds to get a tripod you can literally find a cup something to hold your phone up anything you can use to hold your phone up if you're gonna be the type to be vlogging out in public you need a tripod because it's gonna keep the camera steady instead of just holding your phone and like you're just moving around a lot I have a couple tripods linked in my Amazon storefront so y'all could click the link down below and look at my storefront I have a whole folder for content creators or upcoming content creators or whatever just the essentials that you need you got your phone you got the lighting, you got the tripod. You need to know what your niche is. Or that could be your first step, honestly. But you need to know what are you going to be recording. You can't just get on here and record anything. I mean, you can. You want to create content that you're going to consistently be making. So your subscribers or the people that are watching know like, okay, I'm watching this person for these reasons. Are you going to do lifestyle content? Are you going to just do vlogs? Are you going to do beauty? Are you going to do gaming, story times? You have to stick to one niche. I mean, I know a couple people, they do have multiple niches but sometimes multiple niches do come together in one like lifestyle vlogs or like beauty and hair you don't want to be doing gaming videos and next you know you're doing vlogs just steady content to be honest you just don't want to be all over the place because now you got all these different subscribers here for these things but you're not focusing on that one point so your views are not aligning i hope that makes sense but yeah find your niche the next thing you need is to stay consistent consistent is key and i would know that because i haven't been consistent lately just because like Life began in the way your girl works she got her apartment so it's kind of hard to stay consistent nowadays but at least post once a week that's my 2024 resolution okay if you're posting at least once a week you know what I call that consistency yes ma'am I'm telling you that goes a long way that goes a very 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 long way and I say this with so much emphasis okay exclamation points please don't look at them views baby don't look at the numbers don't look at the numbers don't look at the numbers please do not look at the numbers I'm gonna tell you this right now a little story time for y'all when I have first started my YouTube channel this is my second one by the way the first one I was trying to cheat the game I was freaking doing subscribe for subscribe you subscribe to my channel I subscribe to yours don't do that please because the support be so free can bake but I used to be focused on numbers I will post my stuff on my Instagram I'm just like why my friends are subscribing to me I have all these followers on Instagram I'm telling y'all to subscribe to my channel you're not subscribing I just was so caught up in the numbers that's what led me to doing subscribe for subscribe and just trying to cheat my way out and stuff like that I just realized my views and my subscriber count just wasn't 
the math wasn't math. You wanna grow an organic and genuine fan base or support based or just subscribers, okay? A family on YouTube. Post your content on all platforms. Promote, promote, promote. I don't care if they get annoyed. I don't care if they don't follow. I do not care about none of that stuff. At the end of the day, someone's watching and they're gonna subscribe. Even if they don't subscribe, I'm telling you this right now, they be clicking on that link and they be watching. Yes, they do, because they're nosy. We all do it. Promote your channel on everything, on Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok. I even post my stuff on Pinterest. Who you know? You wanna have music in your videos. Background music, something low. No one wants to sit and watch a video, a sit down video at that. Let me say that. A sit down video like this one and hear no music. Now imagine if I just turn the music off right now and I'm just talking to you guys and just, you know, just continue this video. I hear there's no music, right? It's boring, I don't know, it's just something about it. Like, but when I play the music, now we talking, now we get into it, now we, you know, we talking, we get informative. It's just a better vibe. When it's vlogging and stuff, I really don't tend to do that or even care. But when it's a sit down video, why not? Cause you're just sitting down talking. So just have something that's gonna catch someone's attention. Like, okay, they got some nice music playing in the background. Make sure that music is non-copyrighted. All you gotta do is search on YouTube, non-copyrighted background music or just music. Make sure you're really, really paying attention. Make sure you're looking in the description box to make sure it's not copyrighted if you look in the description box and you see the song is listed there by youtube is created you know all that stuff you're gonna know that's copyrighted music next thing you need to start a youtube channel in 2024 is authenticity i should capitalize that stuff right now authenticity 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 i don't care if i'm not saying it right you need that because there's a lot of people on here that just trying to get to the bag try to run it up and just copying just be yourself literally that's all you freaking need people really just want to see normal people doing their day-to-day -day lives nobody wants to see the same old target runs get ready with me don't get me wrong i love those type of videos but i'm saying when it's consistent to the point where you watch this one person you watch the next person you watch that person it's like all the same thing it's getting repetitive at this point i got the same freaking intros from cap cut templates let's clock the tea okay just be yourself honestly that's gonna get you a long way be your mother effing self I'm telling you this right now you heard it here first take a lot of pictures. So when it comes to not only getting down packed, uploading your videos, you need to have nice quality thumbnails. And for you to have nice quality thumbnails, especially when it comes to vlogs, you need to be taking pictures of every single thing. You really want to make sure your thumbnails are clickable, okay? Thumbnails are like a huge part. That's the first thing someone's going to see when your video pops up on the homepage. If your thumbnail is not looking good, then ain't nobody clicking on it. The video can be absolutely amazing. But if that thumbnail not showing it, they never gonna find out. Coming from someone that has a hard time making thumbnails, I put that on myself because I don't take enough pictures. So if I'm going out to the store or anything, going grocery shopping, this and that, I don't really be taking pictures because I totally just be forgetting. I just be vlogging, going about my day. And then when it's time to make that thumbnail, I don't got no pictures. So it's like, damn, this thumbnail is about to be ugly because I didn't take no pictures. I don't have nothing. You go on a Dunkin' or whatever you're going, take a picture of that cup. You're going out to eat. Take a picture of that. Take pictures of everything. You really have to have a passion for YouTube. And there's a lot of people that's coming on here, like I said, just trying to run up a bag, trying to blow up, be famous, and they don't even watch YouTube themselves. Probably never watched one video. They just see like, oh, everybody's trying to jump on the bandwagon and just do it. And you really can tell when someone's just doing it just to blow up. Having a passion for something is gonna take you a long way. It's not all about the money. It's not all about the views. You really have to love what you're doing. Love picking up the camera and just recording and editing. And then they wonder why they're not freaking growing because you're not being real with yourself because you know you really don't want to do this for real. Imagine if no one was really getting paid from YouTube. Would you still do it? Oh, okay. Learn how to edit. One thing about me, I always taught my myself how to edit i'm not even going to say it's all on me i do my research go on youtube and search how to do certain things i've taught myself how to do the basic jump cuts but when it comes to green screens or special effects do your research just to make the video more entertaining keeping your subscribers or the person that's watching engaged into your video you can literally learn anything from youtube just go on youtube and like how to edit and you better do your homework on it i'm not finna sit down and watch no video that's unedited the next person is not finna watch your video if it's unedited you're doing all this talking that we really don't care about ain't nobody watching that guess what we're gonna be skipping through that we're just gonna exit out the whole video because i don't got time get to the mother point right okay and it doesn't have to be up to par like as long as you're doing something don't just record all day doing all this talking and then press upload who's watching that upload a whole 30 minute video when it could have really just been 15. you see what i'm doing right look into that mother 
lens. Why are we looking over here? What's up, y'all? Welcome to my YouTube channel. When I'm looking at y'all in the lens, does it feel more realistic? Oh, she looking at me for real. Like, we really talking, like, one-on-one, -on -one, right? When I'm looking over here, you have to look, what are you looking at? Can we look here? Can we, you know? Look me in my eyes. What's that one song? Have fun with it. At the end of the day, if this is something that you want to do long term, it's going to feel like a job. Why would I want to quit my nine to five to freaking work a nine to five? Like what? It should really not feel like a job. It should be fun. So make it fun. Don't do too much. Use your resources, okay? One of the resources I could give you is called TubeBuddy. This is not sponsored, you guys, but I really, really want to come on here and tell you guys about TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy has helped me a lot of ways coming down to tags. That's one thing you need. You need tags for your videos. That's going to help the search volume of your video. They also help with keywords. Even when it comes down to freaking titling your YouTube videos, optimizing your thumbnails, it's just a guide to to help you to get your videos out there to better optimize your videos i'm going to link down the link below and you just click on it you don't even have to pay for it they have like certain levels to it that you can pay for but i use the free version but yeah i really recommend you guys use tubebuddy especially if you're a first time youtuber it's really going to help you out because i've been using it for two years now and i've seen a huge improvement on my channel first 30 seconds of your youtube video you need to have some type of preview just to get the viewers attention just to let them know like okay this is what you're going to be seeing throughout the video. Just make sure you're in a quiet space. Nobody wants to watch a video, especially if it's a sit down video and like you have all this loudness in the back. No one hear all that loud, no babies crying, no disrespect to the babies. We don't want to hear all that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm pretty sure I got all my points down. If you have any questions, I am more than welcome or more than happy to answer those questions in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on that post notification bell, and I will see you in the next video.